Hello friends, uh, this is Professor Rahul Baune and in today's uh, heat transfer lecture, we are going to see LMTD method for cross flow multipass heat exchanger. So multipass and cross flow heat exchanger numericals are solved by using LMTD method as well as using charts. So we will see one by one. So what is a multipass? So for multipass is number of passes of the fluid. In the same length of heat exchanger, if a fluid is passing more than one pass through that heat exchanger length or surface, so it is called a multipass. So multipass might be two passes, four passes, six, eight, so in a multiple of two. So there is possible uh, possibility to have a shell fluid having a multipass or tube fluid having a multipass. And second is a cross flow where two fluids are moving in a direction to uh, each other by 90 degree. So that is a cross flow. And in cross flow, as we know, there are a possibility to have a mixed kind of cross flow heat exchanger or unmixed kind of cross flow heat exchanger. So let us see how to attempt this problem. For multipass and cross flow heat exchanger, it is convenient to relate the equivalent temperature difference to the LMTD for the counter flow. So whenever we analytically going to solve numerical for this kind of heat exchanger, so we always consider LMTD for counter flow, never for uh, parallel flow. And the mathematical expression for this kind of heat exchanger is Q is equals to U, that is overall heat transfer coefficient area, surface area. F is there. So this F and LMTD for counter flow. What is F? So F stands for correction factor because this is not the exact counter flow heat exchanger but we are taking lmtd for counter flow so somewhere we have to take a, some correction factor so correction factor f now how to calculate correction factor so both the heat exchanger multipass and cross flow having a different charts to find out the correction factor this represents the degree of departure of a true lmtd for a counter flow heat exchanger so if there is a LMTD method for multipass or cross flow, so definitely it will having some different value uh, than counter flow. But we are taking as a counter flow, so compensate the degree of departure, we have to take a correction factor F. To find out correction factor, uh, we require two ratios. One is a capacity ratio, capacity ratio capital R, T1 minus T2 divided by small T2 minus T1 and temperature ratio that is denoted by capital P T2 minus T1 upon T1 minus small T1 where small T1 and T2 are the tube side fluid the fluid passing through the tube that temperature is denoted by small t if suffix 1 is there that means it is inlet if suffix 2 is there, that means it is exit temperature. In the same manner, capital T1 and T2. So capital T stands for the temperature of shell fluid. So the fluid which is passing through the shell, the temperature denoted by capital T. If suffix 1 is there, that means it is inlet and 2 for exit. Now let us see in a detail by checking this uh, numerical for cross flow heat exchanger calculate for the following cases the surface area required for a heat exchanger which is required to cool 3200 kg per hour of benzene and its a cp value is given 1.74 kilojoule per kg degree centigrade from 72 degree centigrade to 42 degree centigrade 
द कूलिंग वाटर सी पी फोर पॉइंट वन एट किलो जूल पर के जी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एट फिफ्टीन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड हैज अ फ्लो रेट ऑफ टू टू जीरो जीरो के जी पर आवर एंड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट सरफेस एरिया रिक्वायर्ड वेन सिंगल पास काउंटर फ्लो सो दिस इज अ रेगुलर काउंटर फ्लो हीट एक्सचेंजर इज देर देन सेकेंड केस इज वन बाय वन डैश फोर दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज वन बाय फोर सो फर्स्ट इज फॉर शेल सो वन शेल पास एंड सेकेंड दैट फोर नंबर इज फॉर फोर ट्यूब पास सो वन शेल पास एंड फोर ट्यूब पास हीट एक्सचेंजर सो वन बाय फोर हीट एक्सचेंजर and third is cross flow single pass with water mix and benzene unmixed type so cross flow having a this category one fluid is mixed second fluid is unmixed for each configuration the overall heat transfer coefficient may be taken as 0.28 kilowatt per meter square degree centigrade so u value is given so we have a hot fluid that is benzene so mass flow rate of benzene then cp of benzene that is hot fluid and then shell fluid is the benzene fluid so always we use shell fluid it is as a hot fluid so t1 so t1 is the inlet temperature of shell fluid and it is th1 as per our regular notation and given data is 72 degree centigrade and capital t2 exit temperature of shell fluid that is th2 42 cold fluid cold fluid is a water mass flow rate is given 2200 kg per hour convert into kg per second cp of water it is uh, given if not given then we can take as a standard value 4.187 then tube fluid inlet temperature is given that is 15 degree centigrade so small t1 tube fluid inlet tc1 we can say as a tc1 in a regular notation for parallel and counter flow heat exchanger so it is 15 degree but they don't provide a tc2 so only one temperature of cold fluid is given and with this overall heat transfer coefficient is also given in kilowatt meter square degree centigrade we have to put in a watt so this is our given data and as per their instruction first is single pass counter flow heat exchanger so we will see how to calculate the area so heat loss by hot fluid must be equal to heat gain by cold fluid so heat loss by hot fluid is mcp delta t for hot fluid so mh that is mass flow rate of hot fluid cph th1 minus th2 and this must be equal to heat gain by cold fluid mc cpc tc2 minus tc1 so we have all these values as a given data so mh is given cp of h is given th1 th2 is given uh, mass flow rate of cold water is given cp of cold water is given then tc2 is unknown tc1 is known so from this we can calculate the outlet temperature of cold fluid when there is a single pass counter flow heat exchanger so single pass counter flow heat exchanger cold fluid outlet temperature is 33.17 degree centigrade and that is denoted by small t2 tube fluid outlet temperature now the rate of heat transfer so rate of heat transfer either we can use hot fluid mcp delta t or use cold fluid mcp delta t so we have a, a both the values so here we consider hot fluid so according to hot fluid data the heat transfer rate is 46400.58 watt you can calculate on the basis of cold fluid because q value remains same we know a rate of heat transfer can be calculated as for heat exchanger q is equals to u surface area lmtd 
so definitely lmtd for counter flow so u surface area lmtd for counter flow now in counter flow delta t1 is always entry of hot fluid delta t2 is always exit of hot fluid so accordingly delta t1 72 minus 33.17 delta t2 42 minus 15 so put the value respective values and calculate for surface area and it comes 5.089 meter square so when the property remains same and we use a single pass counter flow heat exchanger so we observe that we require the total surface area for such kind of configuration is 5.089 meters square now move on to second part that is one by four heat exchanger so one shell pass and four tube pass so as there are multiple passes at, at a tube pass so we must use our correction factor formula mathematical expression so such kind of schematic is there shell pass is one so shell fluid enter that is t1 capital t1 here and it will move towards outlet and remove from the heat exchanger so only one pass but tube side fluid entering at small t1 this is first part then move again to right again to left and finally again to right and remove out from the heat exchanger as a t2 small t2 so this is a multi-pass heat exchanger so we must require a capacity ratio so capital t1 minus capital t2 divided by small t2 minus small t1 so it is 72 minus 42 33.17 minus 15 so r value comes 1.65 second ratio is temperature ratio that is p small t2 minus small t1 up upon capital t1 minus small t1 put the value and find out p value is 0 0.32 okay there is no need to memorize this what is the formula for r and what is the formula for p because we have to use the chart and definitely university will provide that chart and on that chart itself it is printed like this this chart will be provided and on the chart there is a printed what is r the formula for r and this pink line showing the r values r values 0 0.4 sorry 4 3 2 1.5 and this x axis stand for p values so what is the p formula they are already printed on the chart so no need to memorize this r and p notations okay and this is a symbol symbol for shell and tube pass and this chart will be used for single shell pass and multi pass for tube fluid here one pass second pass so two pass fluid but same chart can be used for four pass 6, 8, 10, 12. So in a multiple of 2. So shell will be the 1. But number of passes may be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 likewise. So same chart will be used. Now here, uh, as we know, we found the value R 1.65 and P 0.32. So this is X axis for P values and this pink curve lines for r values so corresponding to these two we have to find out the correction factor so our value 0 0.32 so this is 0 0.3 and this is the 0 0.4 if i reach to exact midway then it will be 0 0.35 so according to our value 0 0.32 so i manage the distance and this will be the location of 0 0.32 so draw vertical line then for r value 1.65 here we found that there is r value curve 1.5 next one point uh, sorry two so 1.65 will lie between this region so 
I draw approximate curve for the value of 1.65. This required a little bit skill, okay, managing skill. So accordingly, I plot a curve 1.65. So intersection point is here. From this intersection point, I calculate what is the F value. So correction factor value is 0 0.9. So by using this chart, I come to know that correction factor is 0 0.9. Now rate of heat transfer for multipass U surface area correction factor LMTD for counter flow. So delta T1 we know that delta T2 we already calculated for counter flow. So put the values, correction factor is 0 0.9. So this is the our surface area required for multi-pass heat exchanger. So after calculating, we come to know that for multi-pass heat exchanger, surface area is 5.65 meters square. Now the last portion that is cross flow and in cross flow water mixed and benzene unmixed heat exchanger. So this is a symbol where we can see that there is a channels, tubes. So one fluid can enter from this end and it will pass through these tubes. So there is no possibility to get mix. So this is one unmix. And secondly, one fluid exact 90 degree entry and there is no partition, no fin structure. So this fluid can be randomly mixed with second layer of the same fluid. So one fluid is unmixed, one fluid is mixed kind of cross flow heat exchanger. And as per the notation, we always use a capital T for hot fluid. So we are assuming this is the hot fluid, which is a mixed type of fluid. And this is water cold fluid, which is unmixed type. So for this, we know what is the R value and P value. So corresponding to R value 1.65 and P value 0 0.32, we have to find out correction factor for cross flow heat exchanger. So here, this is our 0 0.32 line. Now, point, uh, sorry, 1.65 R value. So again, 1.5 curve is there two curve is there. So 1.65 live in between these two curve region. So approximately I am trying to draw a curve line, this line for 1.65. And the intersection point, if I plot it on Y axis, so it comes little bit more than 0 0.9. If it reached to this level, then it will be 0.95 but it reached to here. So it is lesser than 0.95. So if I calculate approximately, so it is come to 0.92. So this is my correction factor from this chart. So rate of heat transfer now using correction factor mathematical expression, U surface area correction factor LMTD for counter flow. We know that what is delta T1, delta T2, Put the values here, use the correction factor for cross flow heat exchanger and after calculating we come to know that the surface area is 5.53 meters square. This is our answer. So 